afternoon, we're highlighting the Women and Girls Fund of Waukesha County. This is a nonprofit organization that's already funded nearly a million dollars in initiatives through grants, and the annual appeal is underway right now. Michelle DeBoard is executive director, and she's here to tell us a little bit about what they do. Great to see you, Michelle. Thanks, Vince. So uh, let's talk about this a little bit. You are sort of a clearinghouse, so you don't provide the services. You bring in this money, and then you have other community organizations apply to receive some of that money, right? Yes, the Women and Girls Fund supports other nonprofits by investing in programs for women and girls of all ages throughout Waukesha County. Give us an example of maybe a few examples of, of this type of initiatives that you fund. Well, this year we actually invested over $90,000 in 11 different nonprofit organizations. So it's a wide variety of programs and some examples would be our work uh, with the Lotus Legal Clinic and looking at their free legal counsel for sex trafficking victims and victims of sexual abuse. We also partnered with the Addiction Resource Council in their Resist the Influence campaign, really making sure that middle school kids don't even get started in addressing um, issues related to tobacco mm -hmm. or alcohol or, or drugs. And talk to us a little bit about the process. So these organizations uh, apply for a specific grant or how, how do they reach out to you and, and get a piece of this pie? Yes, yeah, so the dollars that we actually raise, um, uh, since 2004, we've raised uh, over $900,000. Wow. Thus, we're trying to reach that million dollar mm -hmm. mark. So when they reach out to us, we actually vet the organization. Mm -hmm. We make sure that they're using the dollars for their intended purposes and that they are fiscally responsible and that we get a return on our our investment that there's measurable results that we achieve through the, the investment. You know, when we talk about the need for funding these types of initiatives and these different services, uh, I read that you guys actually have three times the amount of requests than you have money to distribute. So in one way that's good, you're, you're yes. obviously being successful, but in another way it's heartbreaking because there's so many other things that you'd like to do. Right, well in Waukesha County, so many times communities like Oconomowoc or Menominee Falls or Muskego, people only look at the affluence, but mm -hmm. what they don't see is the invisible need that exists. Women and girls are experiencing the same issues that are prevalent throughout the state. So we wanna make sure we can invest in those programs. How can people help your fund? Well, as I said, we are going to be celebrating 15 years next year with a million dollar goal to be able to right. invest um, in programs. So they can reach out and uh, donate online. All right. Well, thanks so much for sharing Absolutely. that with us. And for more information on the Women and Girls Fund of Waukesha County, how to contribute or how to make a grant request, everything is up on our website. You can check out tmj4.com links.